Hello, my sleepy, sleepy samurais. Um, so... Let's see here. I got a new mount and I really like it. Actually fits my iPhone. Which I switched to back in December and it's taken me a very, very long time to actually like it. Um, because I am a Galaxy Android person. Um, and my partner was like, oh, why don't you just um, give me your phone, like this new iPhone, and uh, just go get the new Galaxy. And I'm like, already taken like a month and a half <laughs> trying to get, it might seem like a long time. But then when you think about it, all the different apps that you use daily and stuff like that, or apps that you only use like once a month to pay stuff, um, that took a while to get set up on the new iPhone because all of my passwords were saved through like the Google password um, on my Android. And when you switch to iPhone, they use the... Uh, the Apple, like, keychain cloud or something is called. Um, so yeah, that really sucked. Um, so I wasn't gonna set this one up with all of my stuff and then just switch back to the Galaxy, so we'll see. <laughs> if I'm fully converted by the time I get a new upgrade or if I'm just gonna go back to the Galaxy because I bought the iPhone for the uh, the camera and the pix pixel revolution resolution for, yeah not revolution <laughs> pixel revolutions uh, pixels megabytes gigabytes what a bite <laughs> um, all that jazz um, but yeah I just my work phone was an iPhone. I was just like, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. But anyway, this video is another mukbang with my small microphone because I really like doing that. Um, and these are a few shocker. They're Easter candies that I was supposed to do Easter videos with for you guys before Easter happened. And I'm only a couple weeks late. Um, but so we're still like we're close we're closer than i normally am but i got these because they're the spongebob pretty patties i thought they were super cute i originally wanted there was like a bag of um i don't think they were the pretty patties but i do think they were the spongebob like Krabby patties gummies but they sold out really fast at my local target um and i think at my local walmart uh, and when I say really fast, I mean like they sold out like the week before Easter because I did not uh, plan this out correctly. <laughs> because I had I was at Target like a month and a half before Easter. And I was like, Target's got all the Easter stuff. I'll be fine. I don't need to buy it now. And then I forgot. And then the week before Easter, I'm like, oh dang, <laughs> like I gotta get my act together. Uh, but yeah, this is the uh, Spongebob Pretty Patty that we're going to try. Um, the Nerds Rope, which I really like the Nerds, uh, the like clusters, but the berry ones. And I was hoping they had this in the same thing, but they don't. Well, I didn't find it. And... I really wish they would tell you like what the flavors are because they don't. My favorite um, nerds growing up, I liked the split, the I think it's purple and pink and uh, the pink lemonade, the pink and the yellow, those are the bomb.com. Breaking news, if you didn't know, you can get more of this content on uh, Sleepy Samurai ASMR Patreon and or my OnlyFans. Um, yeah, OnlyFans, I said it. 
I've never said it before, <laughs> but now you know. Um, all the links are in our, my description box and my link tree, and if you like this content, you'll like my even spicier versions. Well guys, I'll let you get back to the video. Um, then I have a third one that was kind of weird. I just wanted to try. It says it's edible grass and it's green apple flavored. Um, it doesn't look super promising. Uh, imported from Germany. So if I have any German viewers out there, does this look familiar? And is, is this actually, uh, like a German candy that they have there? Or is this just something that was, because this is product of Germany, but, um, distributed by Gallery Hebron, Kentucky. So is this just a U.S. based company and they made it in in Germany and they're trying to say it it's imported from Germany to make it look fancy like I think we found the culprit here but if it is a German candy please let me know it doesn't look like it but I could be wrong the ingredients are potato starch corn starch modified corn starch artificial flavor Isulfame, potassium, aspartame, yellow five and blue five. So yeah, um, phenylketonuric contains phenyl. Lenine. I have no idea what that is. Um, with that many words, or with that many letters in there, um, it doesn't sound great. Uh, but I made it this far in life, so I guess we can try it. Um, trying random stuff. <laughs> Okay, I think we're gonna do the pretty baddies. Actually, let's just get this all the way. Let's do this one first. We're just gonna set you down right here. I don't think I'm gonna try to like I, I, like I don't know in my mind I didn't think it was gonna be that firm but that fragile so I don't think I'm gonna pull it apart because I don't want to make a mess so here's a little piece like they wove it waved they waved it over green apple jelly rancher you know what I think is actually a German candy that for some reason at my junior high in uh, Illinois one of like the fundraising things you could do was uh, I don't even think it was fundraising. It was like, it kind of was. Okay, so back up. The school did a fundraiser. Um, and what they did was sold you boxes of these candies called softies. Um, and I believe those were actually German candies. Um, they were super good, probably not good for you at all. They were, whoops. They were like, I think that long. In a plastic wrapper and they were like super thin and they were the chewy candies and they were amazing um 
You could buy like individual sticks or you could buy whole boxes. And some kids bought whole boxes. Um, <laughs> not me. Um, <laughs> uh, but what you could do after those softies sold out, if you bought a whole box, you could just resell them for more than you bought it for. So it was kind of a little like a hustle, if you will, <laughs> that you could get into if you were able to buy the whole box. I don't think they were very expensive. Um, but then when you resold them, you like doubled your money. So it was not a bad deal. Um, and then, um, some girls started like weaving the plastic wrappers together to make things. And I tried it and made like a belt and that was pretty much it. Uh, one girl that I was friends with, she made like a little pouch like what are you gonna do with this like that <laughs> but she was super proud of it so whatever but um yeah if i can find the candy that i'm talking about i will link it in the description below and if anybody actually knows what i'm talking about like that's super awesome <laughs> i don't just sound like a crazy person Yeah, I'm not going to be eating another one of those. But, um, another candy that they, they tried to introduce to sell like that was, um, these, like, sugar candy skull looking suckers. And half of it was white and the other half was, like, some other color. Um, I really liked, I think it was blue and purple. I think there were four colors altogether. I don't really remember the other two. Um, but those were so awesome. Um, I really wish I could find those now. Um, have I looked that hard? No. Um, but would I like to find them and get them again? Yeah. Um, because I, they, they were really good. <laughs> um, I think like the cheerleaders sold those. For some reason that's that's like coming to my mind but I'm not really sure this is the nerds rope Easter it says sweet and crunchy outside soft and chewy inside um, the nerds like clusters that I was talking about before I got those when I made um, that Valentine's Day kit for my partner I'd never had them before but I always wanted to try them and they are amazing I pretty much I like filled my partner's um candy kit and then like I ate like almost the rest of the bag. <laughs> and most of those candies I put in that kit um were candies I never tried before. I never seen before. I like the colors. It's like a pink color, white, yellow, and blue. a little closer.
I'm not gonna eat the whole thing because I saw the pretty patties. That one is a little sour. I really couldn't tell you what flavor it was. Lemon might be like that lemonade flavor. Not too sure. But we have the pretty patties left. Let's figure out how we're gonna open this. At one package is 140 calories. One rope is 90. I didn't want to open it from the bottom. Because I didn't want to have to undo all that stuff. ever get the blow pops and like not take off the the wrapper off all the way and like put it on there like a cape I used to do that so pretty patties interesting I appreciate that it's a plastic skewer, skewer, not wood. I have a really hard time with certain textures. Um, wood or like bamboo, bamboo skewers is one of them. When I was younger, they had a popsicle where the like stick was a plastic tube, and that was my favorite popsicle. Number one, because they were delicious, and number two, because they had the plastic stick instead of a brown uh wood this looks like baloney I'm gonna tell you right now I've never had baloney either If you like bologna, good for you. But I don't want to try bologna at all. My partner's dad was trying to be nice to me one day, and um, he offered to make me a sandwich, which would have been fine. But the only lunch meat they had was bologna. Can do it. I think he eats like the veal bologna too, which veal is so sad. I'm only going to eat a couple more pieces because this was a lot of candy already. But don't worry. I have more treats to try for another video. Probably at a different time though because I don't want to eat any more <laughs> candy. Wish I had some more chips to try for you guys. Because if you didn't know, I'm all about the snacks. I'm definitely more of a lunch person than a breakfast. Because I'm if I'm up for breakfast, there's a really big problem. <laughs> and I say that now. But... I don't know, it, like, 
you know, I get up like really early with my daughter and I, I, I barely eat breakfast anyway. I'm just not a breakfast person. Um, lunch though. I can get down on a good lunch. And I really like breakfast food for dinner. Um, like that was a really big thing in my family. And my partner and I got together. They thought it was like the craziest thing <laughs> to do was breakfast for dinner. And I'm like, get used to it, buddy. <laughs> it's going to happen a lot. Um, and I think maybe tonight or tomorrow night I'm going to be making biscuits and gravy, which is exciting. Um, I would say biscuits and gravy is probably like my staple go-to breakfast to make. Um, like scrambled eggs. Whatever type of eggs is where the... I don't get sunny side up or over easy. I don't get the difference between the two. Um, but I can make whatever egg style it is or the yolk is soft. Which, I believe it's soft in both of them. I just don't get the difference. <sighs> um, French toast. We have a waffle maker, but we made it like waffles like three times. Um... We used to live next to like a bar, tavern type deal. Not next to, it was like three towns over, so <laughs> that's super close. Um, but they had amazing chicken and waffles, and this is back when we lived in Illinois. Um, the restaurant was in Indiana, though. We lived really close to the Illinois Indiana border. Um, uh, the chicken and waffles. The waffle chicken was like, you know, chicken. It was pretty good. Um, but the waffles were amazing. They had like, probably not good for you at all, but they were like sweet enough where you didn't need any syrup. Just for preface, I don't use syrup on pretty much anything. Um, but the, the waffles for sure, you didn't need any syrup on them. Um, at all, but they were super good, and my partner was wanting to go there all the time, which you know was fine, but, um, for Christmas I decided to get a waffle maker so we could try making them at home or just, like, do waffles at home anyway, and, um, like I said, we used it, I said three times, maybe half a dozen, six times maybe? Um, other than that, uh, we really haven't used it. I have seen, like, really cool recipes where you put, like, the Pillsbury dough, uh, cinnamon rolls in the waffle press and make, like, waffle cinnamon rolls or there's different things that you could do with stuff like that. I really like to try it. I saw a donut that you could do a donut like that. Um, I think that would be good, but, like, maybe hard to clean the waffle iron. Um, I've bought my partner a lot of appliances. I bought them the coffee maker that they have, because it was the brand that they wanted. It was identical to the one his parents have, um, at their house. And when they moved in, when my partner moved in with me, um, I didn't have a coffee maker because I'm not really a big coffee person. Um, so as like a housewarming gesture for them, I bought the coffee maker. And then my partner really got into Nespresso or like wanting an espresso. And I'm like, dude, you're never going to use it. But my partner was helmet. They needed one. I bought the Nespresso. Um... And it came with a frother because it was cheaper to buy that version, which is normally the more expensive version, than it was to buy, um, because the more expensive version was on sale, and the regular one without the frother was a uh, regular price. So we, I bought the one with the frother, and when we got it, one of the reservoirs was cracked, so we had to return it. 
and the only one that they had available at that point in time was the one with the frother but I ended up getting it on sale because then that one went on sale too um, so yeah I have an espresso a really nice one uh, bought a bunch of pucks for it my partner used it like maybe 20 times um, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> My partner comes up with like a lot of different interests and then is like fixated on those interests. Um, but then when he hits his limit with the interests, it just, he forgets about it and it's pretty much like it's not there anymore. <laughs> so not sure what I'm gonna do with an espresso because it's not really something I use um, but other than that um, I think that's it I think that's all I'm gonna ramble on for today I couldn't think of any other appliances I've bought for my partner well small, small appliances actually one more thing when I lived in my apartment, um, I didn't have a microwave, and the apartment didn't come with a microwave. So the time I had been living there, I never used a microwave. I didn't need a microwave. I could like live my life without the microwave. But when my partner moved in, that was also a very big deal, that my apartment didn't have a microwave, and how could I survive without a microwave, pretty much. And I'm like... If I really need it warm, there's an oven. <laughs> I just... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just one of those people where if it doesn't have it and it doesn't really affect my lifestyle, I can work around not having it. Um, so yeah, I went out and had to buy uh, a microwave. Which I should have made my partner buy the microwave. Um, looking back at the situation, like, I didn't need it, <laughs> but, you know, this is the very beginning of the relationship. Um, but yeah, so, anyway, um, to conclude this video, I would like to say that I'm glad we got to spend this time together, and I hope this video helped you in some way either do stress, anxiety, or maybe you're even asleep. And if you're asleep, I want you to know that I appreciate you. But if you're awake and you made it to this point in the video, you are amazing. Well, guys, like I said, I'm really glad we got to spend this time together and I hope we get to do it again soon. Thanks. Bye.